In 2006, pets across the United States, Canada, and South Africa started getting very ill very quickly. Veterinarians received an influx of pets going into kidney failure, and after compiling information on these sick pets, the vets began to notice a common factor among all of them, their food. Pet owners and veterinarians frantically alerted the FDA and pet food companies. And soon, a wave of pet food recalls began. First, it was just one brand that was recalled, then five more. More and more foods started to be flagged as potential culprits, and eventually, over 100 pet food brands were recalled off the shelves. After receiving more than 300,000 phone calls from distressed pet owners, the FDA notified the public that a toxic chemical was found in one of the ingredients in their pet's food. That ingredient was wheat gluten, which is a key ingredient in many pet foods and even human foods. The wheat gluten was laced with a toxic chemical called melamine, which is a compound used in making plastics, adhesives, and industrial coatings. Unfortunately, by the time the FDA discovered the contaminant, thousands of pets already lost their lives, while thousands more suffered permanent kidney damage. Many brands that were part of this historic recall were very popular and are still being fed to a large majority of pets around the world today. Natural Balance, Blue Buffalo, Royal Canin, Hills Pet Nutrition, and Diamond are just a few that were part of this recall. But what in the world could cause every single one of these popular brands to contain the same toxic ingredient? It turned out many of these foods were being produced by one single manufacturer. Meaning, even though these foods were under completely different brand names, there wasn't much difference between the sourcing and quality of the ingredients. This large-scale manufacturer was known as Menu Foods. And because all of these pet foods were made by the same company, they all ended up getting contaminated. The website truthaboutpetfood.com has a tragic true life story from a cat owner named Anne who suffered through the melamine recall. It was around Christmas time, and even though pets were starting to get sick from the melamine contaminated food, nobody realized that the food was the cause yet. Anne got her cats a new packet of wet food as a fun treat for the holidays. However, after eating this food, one of her cats started going into rapid kidney failure. Anne rushed her to the vet where they tried to stabilize her, but after two long days, there was still no improvement. On the second day, Anne had to make the painful decision to put her to sleep. Right after, Anne's other two cats started showing similar symptoms and developed urinary tract infections. Anne found herself in the same terrifying situation, and after two weeks of care, they also went into kidney failure. Luckily, after continued veterinary care, her two other cats did survive, but now have to endure intense medical treatment for the rest of their lives. Since the melamine incident in 2007, there have been many more pet food recalls that have also ended in tragedy. A few years later, in 2012, another incident occurred. This time, pets around the US started showing symptoms of gastric distress, and so did their owners. This time, it wasn't a chemical ingredient making pets sick, it was something else. News Channel 5 Cleveland interviewed Dave Gibson, a dog owner who fed his dog one of the contaminated dry foods. He revealed that his dog Marley started having chronic diarrhea, which continued day after day. His food didn't change, and he wasn't eating anything he wasn't supposed to, so Dave was at a loss. Because he wasn't sure what else to do, he decided to switch Marley's food. And miraculously, he got better. Not long after, he heard on the news that pet foods were being recalled because of a bacterial contamination called Salmonella. But unfortunately, the news reports weren't getting to as many owners as it should have. By the time the contaminated food was removed from the shelves, hundreds of pets were already affected, and at least 15 human cases were also reported. The source of the salmonella outbreak was Diamond Pet Foods, which produced 14 different brand names. Another major recall occurred in 2018 and was actually caused by an ingredient that was meant to be in the food. Donna and her poodle mix Macy were one of the many that were affected by this new recall. In just a matter of days, Macy went from being a playful and lively dog to very lethargic and unable to eat. Donna frantically rushed Macy to the vet and was in complete shock to hear that Macy was in kidney failure. 
A bit later, Donna learned that 13.5 million cans of dog food were recalled and the pet food company, Hills Pet Nutrition, which is a popular veterinary recommended brand that vets often suggest to their clients, whether ill or healthy. But just like Macy, dogs all over the country started experiencing gastric distress, increased thirst, excessive drooling, and kidney failure. After the food was tested, the culprit was finally discovered, extremely high levels of vitamin D about 70 times the intended amount to be exact. This amount of vitamin D is deadly, and unfortunately, Macy was one of the victims that didn't make it. Dozens more recalls have happened in the world of big pet food, from mold and metal contamination, to elevated levels of thyroid hormones, to even euthanasia drug contamination. But it's not just recalls that make commercial pet food a risky diet. Inappropriate ingredients like chemical preservatives, dyes, discarded meat byproducts, grains, and legumes all play a major role as well. I had a ferret that passed away at the age of four, and a major contributor to his declining health was a poor commercial diet. His death sparked a passionate desire in me to feed the healthiest and most species-appropriate diet I could find or make. This is when I learned about the raw diet. Since then, I've been feeding a balanced homemade raw diet to my dog, cat, and ferrets for years now. And the incredible benefits it brings inspired me to teach other owners about it too. Watch these videos to learn more about the positive effects of a raw diet.